you don't have a plan, you don't have a future. Thanks for joining us here on Next Biz Success. My name is Lynn Hinderocker, and I'm eager to introduce you today to Dale Marples. He's with CFO Omaha, obviously in the Omaha, Nebraska area, and he's an expert in business planning. Whether you're uh, preparing a loan package and applying for some financing, or just trying to understand who you are, where you're going over the next six to 18 months, a plan is critical, isn't it, Dale? Oh, extremely critical. You just can't not be in business without having a plan. It really is, and it's not an easy thing, you know, to, to really embark upon. There are so many chapters and components and the projections and all these assumptions. A lot of people think it's just a bunch of hooey that it really can't be a, a, a concrete workable document. What do you say to those people who are, who are cynical about uh, all the time and effort that goes into a business plan? Well, very simply, you would not drive from here to Florida without getting out a roadmap, knowing yeah. where you're going. Sure. And it's the same thing with your business. You would not, should not start your business without knowing what your goal is and where you want to arrive. Yeah. Do most people that uh, have a business plan actually end up achieving the goals, do you believe, uh, that are stated in the plan? Or is, it, or is the, uh, the value of it more just in the, the thinking and collaboration exercise? A business plan is a living document. Uh, I cannot sit here today and say, well, next year at this time, this is exactly where I'm going to be. I know sure. where I want to be, sure. but the economy, circumstances will change, and so you get into that a month or two, maybe you're going to have to make some adjustments. Right. But the thing is, don't put your plan, then put it in a drawer and say, well, I have it, and just go out blindly. Yeah. You have to stay with that plan, and most people will accomplish the goals that they've set out. Maybe more likely to accomplish it if, in fact, it's there on paper, and yeah. also that you can share it with somebody else. Yes, right. and, and one of the important things that I think is that once you get the plan, yeah. then every month you take your QuickBooks or whatever your accounting system is, right. and you look at it and you say, this is what I did, this is what I said I'm going to do, where did I hit it, where did I miss it, the changes I need to make, right, right. and, and don't, don't get off course, but stay on course. Yeah, and making those course corrections or adjustments as you're going down the road, that's where it starts to get a little bit tough, isn't it? It, it is, but that is where your reward comes from, yeah. because now you, the more history you have, of fulfilling that plan, sure. the more accurate you can be next month. Now let's talk about the basics of the business plan for a second, all right? Can we do mm -hmm. that? Yes. Uh, initially, as I understand, I've always seen it, it usually opens up with some kind of an over uh, summary of, uh, of the marketplace in general, and maybe yeah. the trends that are affecting demand for your product. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay, and then after that, you typically come up with some kind of revenue goal, uh, some overarching sales and profitability goal. Yes. Is that right? That is correct. Okay. Then we move on to the third section, which is essentially the strategy section, kind of the key ways that we're going to achieve the goals that we just discussed. Exactly right. Which one of those three sections are the most difficult to do and to author and, and, and to do so in a credible fashion? Really, the financial section, because the market is tangible. Where you want to go, that's your vision. Yeah. But the, the financial side of it is difficult, but uh, if you go to, if you get somebody who does business plans, they can take your vision, uh, let's say you're going to sell, wick, make wickets. Sure. All right. Well, what does it cost you to produce one? Sure. And then what are you going to sell it for? And then you expand that into, all right, what can I do this month? And expand that out for the next three years. Sure. Uh, sure. And, uh, and so uh, somebody who's professional in that can help you put that down. Yeah. And, it, and it's not just a wild guess. Sure, no, I understand. But, you know, so many people will say, well, that's so simplistic, and it really doesn't go that way, and there are so many variables that change the lay of the land, and within two or three months after you have it on paper, it's, it's irrelevant. What do you say to those people? How, how do you make it relevant? And what do you do if you've over-projected, and oh my goodness, now we're 40% under what we thought we would be uh, doing at this time? What then? That's, you're right, you have to stay on top of it, and, and if you totally blown your ability to hit your goals, yeah. then you're going to have to make an adjustment in the operation. Yeah. Because the thing, that you just cannot go out there blindly, you have to preserve your business. Mm -hmm. And so, go back to that plan and say, what do I need to change mm -hmm. to keep me successful? What's the hardest part of making sales projections and business projections? A lot of people come up with spreadsheet calculations and, oh, if our costs go up 3% and our, inc our sales go up 7.5% and our labor goes up this much and we're going to make this much money in 12 or 15 months, they don't come close. What is the reason for that? Why are their assumptions so far off? Are they superficial or they're just not disciplined enough in making a plan? 
too often they they are so committed to wanting this to succeed that they just have expectations that are too high. Ah, a little and, naive. Yes, and uh, one of the things that I like to do is say to the, the client, now, can you do this? Yeah. And they say yes. <laughs> and so, so I have a feeling they'll say yes. Uh, and so we s stick to that, but I will also say, as a former banker, yeah. I am going to be here, I'm going to hold your feet to the fire, uh -huh. and anything you tell me, you better be able to produce. And mm -hmm. many times they say, well, maybe we ought to cut that back a little bit. Mm -hmm. and, and I would always want to see them project conservatively mm -hmm. so that uh, if that unexpected comes, mm -hmm. you're okay. Let's say, for instance, things are going really well on your business plan and you're exceeding expectations and your costs are down here, your labor, your raw materials, so your capacity is at this level, your sales are way at this level. How long do you, th do you, do you think somebody should stay with that smaller than uh, a required workforce or materials before they say, huh, we're going to have to bite the bullet, get another hundred grand in here and bulk up so we can meet demand, meet the revenue goals? That we do you tell them, no, 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 hold off, hold off, work all weekend, stay with it? Or do you say, no, go right away and take advantage of the upsurge in sales? I would say, let's stay with it a while. Yeah. Because, uh, I knew you that, were going to say that. <laughs> that. That's a conservative banker. Yeah. But uh, I want that business to survive. Yeah. And, and so if profits are better than you expect, all right, you've got two things to do. You can put that money away yeah. in case the market doesn't stay there. Other thing you could do, you could prepay your debt. Mm. There's nothing wrong with being out of debt. Yeah, well, you're right. And people uh, are rethinking that whole presumption these days, as you know. Well, Dale Marples with CFO Omaha, you provided great insight. The business planning process is so complex, we procrastinate, we put it off. I think probably eight out of ten small businesses don't have a business plan anymore. So you're right. It's, mm -hmm. it's a fascinating thing to address, and thanks for being with us here on uh, NBS. Well, thank you. You bet. Thanks for joining us on uh, Next Biz Success. I'm Lynn Hinderocker. Now you know the ins and outs of creating a business plan. It can be done. Get an outsider so you can focus and get it done correctly. Thanks for watching. Keep on going and keep on growing.